I think there are some very interesting things happening in the field. Um, obviously, we've had a, a bit of a, a mini explosion in our treatment options. Increasingly, devices are moving to the forefront um, as uh, an alternative to medications. And in certain settings, that seems appropriate. And we'll have to wait for guidelines um, and payer approvals to catch up to the data on that so that these uh, options are accessible to patients. I think we're seeing an interesting trend in that we're observing medicines now that are used for both acute and preventive treatment. Uh, this is not something we've seen before. Whether they will end up with medications with dual indications will be very interesting. I'm thinking uh, primarily about the G-PANTS um, and one of the monoclonal antibodies <clears throat> that may have the, this kind of role. It kind of rocks the world in terms of medication overuse headache because traditionally we've thought of using acute medications too often will result in a secondary headache that we call medication overuse headache, and that that interferes with the ability of the body to respond to a preventive medicine. But we now have several preventive medicines that seem to be, in quotes, immune to the medication overuse phenomenon, which raises some very interesting questions about where we intervene in the pathway of pain may have more to do with whether someone develops a medication overuse headache that is responsive to an intervention or not. That was a convoluted sentence. I hope you followed it. Um, but I think it'll be very interesting to, to learn, to see what <clears throat> these preventives that are seemingly able to overcome medication overuse and still decrease the frequency, severity, and duration of headaches um, will teach us about the disease process itself and the way the brain handles um, interventions.